Hey everybody, welcome. How's it going today? I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi, and this is Friday Power Flow. So if today isn't going so great, as we practice, I can pretty much guarantee you that things are going to get better. So what do you say? Come on to your mat, let's practice. Let's get started in Downward Facing Dog. Setting up your Downward Dog, or you can get started in Child's Pose if that feels like a better fit for you. An intentional foundation here. Maybe noticing a shift as you do come onto your mat and you come into intention. Feeling your breath, a big inhale and a big exhale. And it's okay if it doesn't happen right away, right? if you're still off in your head somewhere. Notice it and invite yourself back. A deep breath in and a long breath out. And after you've set your foundation, maybe a little bit of movement if you want to walk out your dog, move your head or your hips around. Part of the movement might be adjusting your foundation. As you get into this downward dog, a couple breaths and things start to shift and change. Definitely noticing as you move your way through your practice how things do shift and change, allowing yourself to be present for all of it. A big breath in and a long breath out. Letting your head drop. Hips are lifted, lengthening through your spine. Set your feet, your toes are soft. You can play around with lifting your toes up, even here. And as your heels drop, it's just softening them down rather than forcing them down. Feeling that you don't have to force anything. A big breath in and a big breath out. Sometimes it does take a lot of effort to get on your mat and just get started. But once you're here, Right, feeling this, that you have in fact arrived, you've landed, and now you can go with the flow. Take another deep breath in, and as you exhale lightly, step or jump to the front of your mat. Set your feet, soften your knees, and rise to stand. Come all the way up, hands reach high, heart lifts, go back, hands to your heart. Exhale, set your gaze here. You can lower your gaze or close your eyes and you might set an intention for your practice today. Together we'll take a big breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, sweep up, reach and lift, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale, bring your hands down to your mat, step back to your high push up, your high plank. And you can have your knees lifted or drop them down here, take a big breath in, move forward, halfway down or all the way down, low push up. Again, option to drop the knees here. Big breath in, upward facing dog, your cobra or your low cobra, and as you exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. And simply feeling how in being here, present in this practice, connected, things are better already. Take a deep breath in, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, low push up. You can step or jump back, inhaling. Upward facing dog, exhaling, downward facing dog. A full breath in, and a full breath out. And it's not that things around you have to change or shift, but in being here, shifting your energy, coming back into center. Okay, so whatever you have going on, when you step off your mat out of your practice, you're in a better place to navigate through it. One more big breath in, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, fold forward, exhale, empty out. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. 
Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. A full inhale then a full exhale. Another big breath in here. Exhale lightly. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands high. Heart lifts. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Set your hands and feet here. Set your gaze or close your eyes. A big breath in. And a long breath out. Following your breath instead of following the stuff that comes up in your head. Take another big breath in. Exhale. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Big bend to your knees. That's something you can explore, play around with. Setting your feet and then sitting down and sitting back. At the same time, lifting up, lengthening up. Hands can be higher at your heart. You can check in with your toes here. Lift them up. Softly place them back down. Check in with your breath. Check in with your thinking mind just enough that you do notice when you've wandered off. And again, invite yourself back. Take one more big inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale. Downward dog, right foot steps forward. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Step up, rise up and reach up. Big bend in your right knee, long and strong through your back leg. You can check back in with your toes. We place them softly but intentionally. Right? If you're checking in with your toes, your fingers, your breath, you're here. Things are getting better. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one. A light step but with intention and as you rise up. If you want to lengthen your stance, you can lengthen your stance. Adjust the angle of your back toes. Let your right hip come a little bit forward. Dip into your left knee. Hands higher at your heart. A full inhale. And a full exhale. A big breath in. And a long breath out. Once more, deep inhale, exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. You can add in child's pose at any time. Any variations that feel better help you to feel better. Let this practice help you feel better. Raise your vibration, our vibrations. A deep breath in, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, sit down, sit back, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, back foot flat. Rise up, exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps, warrior one. Come on up, exhale, hands back to your mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps again, warrior one. Come up, pause for a moment, check in with your foundation. Interlace your fingers at your low back. Towel or strap between your hands. Keep the bend in your right knee, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, your heart, a big inhale. Begin to fold forward, humble warrior. And you might rest your torso on your right leg. Maybe you find you have room for both shoulders to come inside the right knee. Right knee gently drawing in rather than falling out. If you can drop your head, let your head drop here. Take a deep inhale. Then a big exhale. Now on your inhale, rise up to your warrior one. Open out, warrior two. Checking in with your foundation, adjust as needed. 
an intentional foundation here, dipping into the front knee, lengthening through your back leg. You can extend through your arms, your hands, or let your hands come to rest at your heart. Take a big inhale, and then a long exhale. Spin your palms to the sky. Right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Find a place that works to land your left hand. Check back in with your toes. Lift from your right hip, a big inhale. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward now. Warrior one, rise up. Again, check in, pause for a moment. Feel your foundation. Interlace your fingers at your low back. You might switch your thumbs, switch all of your fingers so you're interlacing your fingers in a non-habitual way. Lift on your inhale and begin to fold forward. Humble warrior as you exhale. You can set your gaze, whether you rest your torso on your left leg or drop your shoulders inside the knee and the crown of the head down. Notice that the back knee collapses unintentionally. Connect to the foot, lengthen to the back leg. A long inhale here, and a long exhale. On your inhale, back up to your warrior one now, warrior two. If you haven't practiced with me in the studio yet, Sanctuary Power Yoga, that's where I am. And there's a pretty busy street right outside. Sometimes that's what you hear. Spin your palms to the sky, take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Sometimes what you hear and you don't even realize it. It's all this stuff going on in your head, demanding your attention. Take a big inhale, exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up, to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. And so then often what we don't hear is our body our heart, our spirit. And then there is a disconnect and we don't feel so great. So coming back into your body, reconnecting with intention, feeling better. Take a deep breath in, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit down, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, back foot flat, rise up, open out. Warrior two, right hand high reverse. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up, two low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Open out, warrior two. Left hand high reverse. Exhale, hands to your mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot again, warrior one, come up. Open out, warrior two. Right hand high reverse, side angle. Parsva Konasana. Right elbow on your right leg, left arm up to the sky, reach up, lift up. Lengthen your left arm forward. Left shoulder rolls back. Right elbow can stay where it is. You can slide the hand down inside, maybe outside the front foot. You might lengthen your stance, you might shorten your stance. You might adjust the angle of your back toes, your back foot, so you can connect through the whole back foot. Lengthen through your back leg. Get yourself grounded and supported, a big inhale. And a big exhale. Reach your top arm up, wrap it around behind your back. Half bind or full bind. A deep breath in. And a long breath out. Still long through your back leg, deep bend in your right knee. You can always come out of it intentionally and then come back into it. Lengthening through your spine, opening across the front of your body, letting your chest, your heart lift. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Reach your top arm up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Straighten your right leg, drop your hands. Pivot your toes toward the side, feet parallel, even or a little bit pigeon-toed. Interlace your fingers at your low back. Shoulders roll back, heart lifts a big inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. A couple of good deep breaths here. If you haven't practiced me in the studio before, outside of these Friday power flows, and you'd like to, 
check out the link below for Sanctuary Power Yoga, my studio. And you can practice with me in person via Zoom, in person in the studio. My members enjoy access to recorded classes. Your first class is free. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, release your hands. Hands under your shoulders, come halfway up. Hands to your hips, rise to stand. Still facing the side, toes out, heels and bend your knees. Come on down into your horse. Reach your arms up. Eagle arms, right arm wraps under your left. And if this variation doesn't work, opposite hand to opposite elbow or even hands to heart, great variations, great options. And you have the option to get stuck in your head about what you can't do. And that never feels good. Or you can invite yourself back, feel that whatever variation you're in, you're here, you're in your body, we're practicing, we're supporting each other, right? raising our vibrations, feeling better. A deep breath in, then a long breath out. Sit a little lower. Keep your hips low, unwrap your arms, reach up now. Warrior two, left side, pivot around toward the back of the mat. Left hand, high reverse. Exhale, hands down, high push up, two low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale. Downward dog or child's pose. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Another big inhale, exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Big bend in your knees, feet are even. Bring your hands to your heart, take a big inhale. Twist to your right, left elbow toward the outside of your right leg. So I don't know how that little interruption will translate in the video. There's always little interruptions, sometimes big interruptions. Interruptions around us in our space, outside the noise, the stuff in our head that interrupts us. And so we keep coming back. Hands can stay together or they can come apart. Chest lifts, heart lifts here. Hips a little bit lower. If you want to stick in a side curl, you can stick in a side curl. Take a big breath in, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, butt hips with distance. Peace fingers, hook your big toes. Palms face each other, halfway lift. Lengthen and fold as you exhale. You can stick with a halfway lift or a rag doll or as you connect your fingers to your toes, maybe room to draw the crown of your head down. Lengthening, opening. A deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathing in, filling up. And breathing out, emptying out. Release your toes, walk your feet closer together to touch. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down, sit back, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, come up. Open out, warrior two. Left hand high reverse, side angle, Parsva Konasana. Left elbow on your left leg, right arm reaches up. Take a deep breath in, and then a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. Top arm extends, left elbow can stay where it is or you can slide the hand down. Still an equal connection through both feet, so notice if you start to hang on or if you lose your foundation, that, that back foot starts to roll up, roll it back down. If you start to lose your breath, notice, Come back, and maybe coming back involves easing off a little bit so you can enjoy this and feel good. Reach your top arm up, wrap it around behind your back, half bind or full bind. So many different ways that we can challenge ourselves. Sometimes it's digging deeper. Sometimes it is easing off, so it's feeling in the moment, honestly, what's best for you, how you can challenge yourself, but still be in joy. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Reach your top arm up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Drop your hands. Toes toward the side. 
Toes in, heels out, or feet parallel. And once more, you can interlace your fingers at your low back. Non-habitual way you interlace your fingers to switch them up. Lift on your inhale. Lead with your heart. Fold as you exhale. Part of feeling better. Feeling that things are getting better. Being in your body. Being present. Experiencing your strength, your power, the ability to soften and open. Feeling connected and supported. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop your hands down, hands under your shoulders halfway up, hands to your hips, all the way up to stand. Toes out, heels in, bend your knees, coming into your horse, hands sweep high, eagle arms, left arm wraps under your right. And hopefully, in this moment, you can feel even just some of this. Our connection, you taking care of yourself, a deep breath in, and then a long breath out. A big inhale, then a big exhale. If you have some room, sit a little lower. How do you know if you have room? You sit a little lower, and if it doesn't work, you ease off. Now, hips stay low, unwrap your arms, reach them up. Warrior two, pivot back around toward the front. Right hand high, reverse. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Take a long breath in and empty out. <sighs> A full inhale here, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana. Set your feet, reach up, bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale. Now twist to your left, right elbow toward the outside of your left leg. And your feet are even, they can be together or apart. Hands as they connect and even press to assist you. And tapping into the length of your spine, and then gently rinsing out, hands together, hands apart, side crow, child's pose. Choose what helps you to feel good. Take a deep breath in, and then a long breath out, and you're here, you're here on your mat. So you do have the desire, maybe the intention, to feel a little bit better. Take a deep breath in, fold forward, exhale. Walk your feet apart, about hips with distance, slide your hands under your feet, palms up, fingertips towards heels, halfway lift, lengthen and fold. I remember reading something somewhere right about how this choice to feel good. It's not sitting on your couch eating potato chips. Okay, sometimes that feels good. Sometimes that's what you need. Right, once you get here, staying here, whether it's in this variation or another variation, staying with your intention to be here, take care of yourself, feel better, raise your vibration. A long breath in, and a long breath out. Take your hands out front of your feet. Walk your feet closer together or to touch. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale. Downward dog, right foot steps forward. Warrior one, come up, open out, warrior two. Right hand high, reverse, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with your back foot gently. Tip forward, right hand lands in front, little to the right of your baby toe. Left arm up or left hand on your left hip. Lengthening through your legs. Strong through your core, a big inhale. Left hand comes down, left hip rolls down. Standing leg raise. You can stay more of a halfway lift or drop into the forward fold, more of a standing leg split. A big breath in, then a long breath out. A big inhale, lightly drop that left foot back behind you. Bring the left knee down, kneeling lunge. You can walk your right foot a little to your right. Hands to the right knee, maybe a pad the left knee. Fingers interlace at your low back. Shoulders roll back, heart high. A big breath in. And a long breath out. 
On your inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hands down to your mat. Half pigeon, slide, wiggle your right foot across, long through your left leg. Lengthening as you come forward. In this variation, or setting up the variation on your back. And if you want to come into your half pigeon with a different transition, if you want to add in like a three-legged dog or something, you can. Sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's challenging. Maybe that's the better word. To transition into a pose in a different way. Helps get us out of our head, get out of habit. Take a long breath in. And then a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. I could stay in half pigeon a lot longer, but it's Friday Power Flow. I'm going to try to keep it to 30, 35 minutes. So hands under shoulders, back toes tuck under, lift your left knee, right knee goes up and back, three-legged dog. With the right leg lifted, bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. And if you want to flip, you can let the foot pull you over. Take a big inhale. And then come on back around, right leg goes up, right foot down beside the left. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Come up, open out. Warrior two, left hand high reverse, half moon. Tipping forward, little push off with the back foot, right, left hand, left hand in front to the left of your baby toe. Right arm up to the sky or right hand on your right hip. Press out through your right heel. Lifting your right leg, even as you lift through your standing leg, take a deep breath in. Now, right hand comes down under your shoulder. Roll your right hip down, standing leg raise. Dropping into the forward fold might give you a little more room to lift the right leg. Hands can be on your mat or on your standing ankle. Take a deep breath in. Right foot drops back behind you, right knee down. Untuck the toes, kneeling lunge. Pad the right knee. Hands on your left knee, and when you're ready, you can interlace your fingers so you get a little bit of a heart opener here. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Inhale, hands reach up as you exhale, hands to your mat. Left foot walks across, setting up your half pigeon now on this side, this variation, or the variation on your back, and you can add in a block. Any support that you need. And if you do like a longer half pigeon, a longer practice, then absolutely check out my studio link. If you like these practices, this opportunity to connect and support each other, then consider checking out my Patreon. Membership starts at $5 a month. We support each other. You get some added bonuses. Right, the added bonus right now. I don't even know if it's an added bonus of being here. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Maybe it's just become so much of a habit for so many of us to always be off in our head that being present does feel like an added bonus. when really it can be how we move through our day, our life, grounded, supported, staying in balance, feeling better, even when things around us are off. Here, set your hands under your shoulders. Start to come up, tuck your back toes under, lift the right knee, left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the left knee, down dog, hip opener. If you want to keep going, you can flip. Take a breath here, lifting out of your shoulder, your shoulders. And then come on back around, left leg goes up, left foot down beside the right. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands. Sit down, feet forward, hands forward, strong core. Lower back slowly for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hover your feet and your shoulders for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way down, set your feet, and come up for your bridge or your wheel. Any variation, any combination. No rush, right? Even in this shorter period of time, allow yourself the time to be here, to breathe here. Take a big breath in, then a long breath out. A full inhale, then a full exhale. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly lower down on your back, feet together, knees wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big breath in. Empty out. And from here, we'll move right into Shavasana. Any adjustments that you need? Whatever leg variation works best for you. Take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Here, you might find some gentle movement. When you're ready, you can draw your knees to your chest, roll to one side, and slowly make your way to seated. And if you'd like to take longer in Shavasana, by all means, you can do that. We get a longer Shavasana in the studio classes as well. Hands come to your heart, set your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes together. Let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks everyone. Glad you could join me for practice today. I'm in my studio, Sanctuary Power Yoga. I mentioned already there are links below. I'm glad that we can share this practice. And I do hope that you feel better and things go well for you today. There goes a very large, loud truck. Check out the links below, like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Most important, take care of yourself, take care of each other. I'll see you soon.